Greetings to our melanated people all around the world. It's really a joy, it's a blessing. It's an honor to be out here in nature and greeting you and greeting the rest of humanity. And let me say this when I greet melanated people, because I have a heart for melanated people to come to know their true identity and to know who they are, because many have been still kept in mental slavery. That's the reason why I always reach out to them. But this message is for all of humanity. So at this time, I want to speak to you concerning Abdullah, who is Neville Goddard mentor, who is the black mystic from Ethiopia. And I would have written a book concerning Abdullah, the black mystic from Ethiopia, and his motive of teaching Neville Goddard the law of consciousness and how he was using the message of symbology to reach out to our people who have missed the message of symbology and hold on to the Bible thinking that the Bible is literal and that the Bible is secular history. So at this moment, as I speak to you concerning Abdullah and Reverend Ike, I chose to speak about Reverend Ike and Abdullah seeing both were black men encouraging black people how to lift their self-esteem and believe in themselves more and how to change their mentality to create their reality consciously and time and time again Reverend Ike would teach the people that there is no God in the sky who is going to bring them pie by and by when they die and that Jesus Christ was just a personification of the human imagination. Yet many of them, because they congregated and because they were in a congregation and still putting on church clothes and carrying a Bible in their hand, many listened to the message of Reverend Ike and failed to be more of a doer than a hearer. And so, I want to say Abdullah and Reverend Ike their energy is still here and they want that energy to be used by we exercising our minds and using our mind power to achieve our every desire. So they pointed us to look inwardly. Now when you look around there are so many different preachers and televangelists who are using the law. Yet they are teaching their, their followers to look outwardly instead of teaching them to look inwardly. And many of them know that it is their thoughts that have created their reality because they know that they had goals, they had dreams, they had affirmation, they would have believed in themselves for a number of years and now they are reaping the harvest. Now, the Bible itself tells you that the kingdom of God is within you. And Abdullah thought never got a how to prove that the kingdom of God is definitely within you. And when never got a prove that the kingdom of God is definitely within himself, he was so moved with such love and such kindness that he was willing to teach the message of truth the message of self-realization, the message of true salvation to humanity. That's the reason why I'm here commemorating our ancestor Abdullah, our elder, and Reverend Ike, who was an elder, a teacher, an ancestor also, who have gone or uh, who have left us a very long time ago. And so my brother and my sister, we cannot forget those who have shared this message of abundance with us, who have shared this message of self-realization with us, this message of emancipation with us, a message to liberate our mind from idolatry, a message that was given to us to liberate our mind from stupidity. From start believing in a power outside of ourselves and believing in the power that is within us. That we must believe in ourselves. That we must trust our imagination to be God. So when I speak about Abdullah, 
I am not worshipping Abdullah. I am remembering what was done to uplift humanity. When I speak about Reverend Ike, I'm not worshipping Reverend Ike, but I'm speaking of what was taught to us to uplift humanity. When I speak of Neville Goddard, I'm not worshipping Neville Goddard, but I'm speaking of the message that was given to Neville Goddard to bring to humanity, to teach them how they can change their reality consciously and how they are to get rid of all idolatry. Doesn't matter what, what, is the color of, what is the color of your skin. Do, doesn't matter which country you're born in. It has nothing to do with your nationality. It has nothing to do with your race. It all has to do with your mentality. So if you will change your mind, you will be able to change your life. But deep within, I know that melanated people need this message more than any other people be there is. Because there are more deceived black people in the world than black people who are aware or enlightened because many have been brainwashed from so young concerning Jesus Christ and singing all of those Jesus songs in the school as a little child. So the teachers are teaching you that. Then the parents are teaching you that and everything is so wrong that even the politicians are using the Bible too to keep the people blind by interpreting it in the Bible as literal and as secular history. But I want to join with Abdullah. I want to join with Reverend Ike by telling you that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically, that the Bible is not literal, neither is it the Bible secular history, and that wealth is your birthright, abundance is your birthright, riches is your birthright. You have the right to live a life of riches, a life of prosperity, a life of abundance. Money is your friend, not your enemy. You are one with money. And you can't be afraid to say that I am money. You can't be afraid to say that I love money. You can't be afraid to say I am the master of money. Money is not my master. That money is my slave, I'm not the slave of money because I can create my reality consciously because imagination is what creates reality and you have to practice, practice, practice using your imagination to create your reality until you prove for yourself. So my brother and my sisters, I really have to always talk about Abdullah, Reverend Ike, and Neville Goddard and the many, many, many others who are not afraid to share this message of abundance, this message of truth, this message of emancipation, this message that will set you free, but you have to put it to work. Don't just listen to me and say, well, okay, it sounds good, but put it to work. That's the reason why the Bible tells in Psalm 4:4, you must come in with your own heart upon the bed and be still. Use this power of imagination just before you go to bed. Do it whereby you can repeat the action. I want to say three, four times before you fall asleep. So don't wait until you're too sleepy. See what is your desire. Know exactly what you want. And see it in your mind's eye. See it in your imagination and go to the end. Forget about the in-between. Forget about how it's going to come or when it's going to come. Forget how, about how it's going to be done. Don't think about, about how much money you have. Don't look at your situation. Don't look at the obstacles and the stumbling blocks that are telling you that you can't. Do not think about what you don't want. Think about what you want. See it been done. See yourself whichever way you want to see, see yourself. Would you like to see yourself as, a, as an important person or a popular person? What kind of vehicle would you like to drive? What kind of house would you like to live? Where would you like to travel? The Bible promises you all of these things. It tells you wherever the soul of the future child that child he gives to you. He say, ask and it will be given. He say, knock and it will be opened unto you. Seek and you shall find. He say, I am the way, the truth and the life. 
That's the reason why I'm teaching you and showing you that the way is within, the truth is within, the life is within, and Abdullah taught us that everything is within. Reverend I taught us that everything is, is within. Neville Gara taught us that everything is within. And this whole world is your own self being projected outside. It is your own self. You are beholding a projection of what is within. And Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and 11 tells you the same thing. That God has placed everything in the mind of man. The world is in the mind of man. So claim whatever you so desire in this world. And live the life. Live the happy life. My brother, my sister, the greatest thing is for you to send me a testimonial and tell me how you have put your imagination to work in your life and you believe with all your heart and you see it work because I've seen it work in my life and I want to hear, I want to hear that it's been working in your life too. I don't want to just be blessed and you're not being blessed and as I continue to grow in blessing, so I want to bless you also and I believe with all of my heart the more. I speak about these things and the more I believe them is the more manifestation I will see in my life because I know this is the truth and I want to say that I, I didn't I haven't decided to take the truth and keep it to myself but I decided to share this message of truth with you because I love you and I'm sharing this truth to all of humanity but there are those who will take it death, whichever way they want to take it there are those who would have a race in their mind. There are those who would have all different things in their mind and interpret this message of freedom and emancipation the, the way they choose to interpret it. If it's a message of emancipation, it can emancipate anyone. It doesn't matter who you are. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I want to thank you very much. And I want to say, if you believe that Abdullah was an elder and ancestor and was bringing the message of truth to us and our Reverend Ike has been bringing the message of truth to us and that Neville also has brought a true message to us and is a message to set us free and to help us to live a healthy and a wealthy life upon the face of this earth because it is our right to live in prosperity and it is our natural state of being then put it to work in your life. So with that being said I want to encourage you to subscribe if you haven't subscribed as yet or to like uh, comment and do not forget to check out my link below and check out my books and Amazon also because each one have to teach the other and we have to always remember to support each other because it's all about oneness so as usual I will always give you the sign of the single eye because this message is the single eye message of self-realization of with Matthew 620 to tell if I be single and I'm now giving you the same of the single eye that your whole body will be full of light and I'm saying to you my brother and my sisters when you have the experience you come to realize that it is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N and that it is the dawning of a new day in your life and that without the sun there is no life and there is no light and without the human imagination there is anything made that was made and that the sun parallels the human imagination and the human imagination parallels the sun and we are the people of the sun therefore my brother and my sisters it is time for us to use our mind power to achieve our every desire. So with that being said, I want to say peace, love you, I'm out.